what's going on guys this is me mehdi shakil and guys in this video i'm gonna show you how to configure a basic cisco switch using the cisco packet tracer to simulate all the cisco switch commands and configuration so without talking too much let's get started so guys here you can see i take a switch 2960 model and let me show you how it's actually look like if i click on here and here you will see a physical look of the Cisco switch. Here you can see how the Cisco switch is exactly look like. Behind the Cisco switch you will get 24 fast ethernet port and 2 gigabit ethernet port. And also you will get a console port. Now whenever you want to configure Cisco switch for the first time, what you need to do, you need to connect your computer using the console cable and take a terminal access to your Cisco switch. So here you can see my Cisco switch. And if I take my computer and connect it to a console cable like this. So after connecting a Cisco switch with the console cable with your computer, it will look like this. Then after connecting your computer with the Cisco switch, what you need to do, you need to download a software called Putty. Then open it and by default it will select the SSH and here you need to select the serial port. And you will get a port number and a speed, then click on open. And you will get a terminal access of your Cisco switch. And like this, you can get access to your Cisco switch. Let me remove all of this. Now after connecting a Cisco switch with your computer using the console cable, you will get a CLI mode like this. And you will get this screen. Here you will find all of the description of your Cisco switch. Now if you press enter, you will get a terminal like this. So this is your first terminal into a Cisco switch. So now let me show you how to configure it. So first of all, what you need to do in this terminal, you need to type here enable or you type ENA, then press tab and will complete the command, then press enter. It will enable you to execution mode. Now, if you want to config your Cisco switch, you need to go to config mode. So here you will type config tar or terminal, then press enter. So now you are in configuration mode and we are ready to configure our this Cisco switch. So first of all, let me show you how to change the host name of your Cisco switch. By default, the name is switch. So let's say you want to place this Cisco switch in the first floor and the switch number is one. So what you can name this switch is switch one floor one or F1 S1. You have to put a logical name. You can put whatever you want, but I will suggest you to give it a name that you can understand which switch you are configuring or you are using. So change the host name, you need to type here host name. Then you can type here floor 1 F1 or S1 switch 1. Then press enter. And now you can see here that the Cisco switch name is changed from switch to F1 S1. So this is the basic configuration. Now if you want to see all the communication line of your Cisco switch, you can type here do show run or do sh run. Then press enter. And you will see all the configuration of the Cisco switch currently have. Here you can see all the first Ethernet port. And if I scroll down here you can see a VLAN, a line console, some VTI line or virtual terminal line and all of this. Now let me show you how to put a password for your console port. Remember how we connect into this switch. We take a console cable and connect it with our computer. And by default we get login to a Cisco switch but we don't want it we want to make the console port secure so we have to set a password for this so let's put a password on console cable and for this we'll type here line con or console then we'll type here zero because there is only one console port into cisco switch so if i type here and press enter now you can see the config is changed from config line that means we are in now in console line so now let me show you how to set up a password to set up your console password, you just need to simply type here password, then type your password. Here I'm going to type my name, then press enter. So the now password is set. But if you log out and try to log in, this password will not going to ask by Cisco switch because we do not configure the Cisco switch to ask this password whenever anyone try to log in using the console port. So for this here, you need to type login, then press enter. So now the console port is ready with the password. Now if I exit and hit enter, you can see now it will ask me a password for your console port. And if I put my password, which is my name, then press enter, 
you can see now we get into the terminal of Cisco switch. Now again to go to enable mode or execution mode we'll type here enable and for configuration mode we'll type here config tar or config terminal. So now we are in configuration mode. Now the console password is set. Now let's set a banner for our Cisco switch and for this we'll type here banner. Then if we put question mark you will see what command we can add with this command. Here you can type MOTD and this is used for set message of the day banner. So if we type here a banner MOTD and again press question mark there is a command called line. Now let's say you want to design a banner. So you have to type banner MOTD and any character whatever you want and make sure you don't use this character on banner messages. What I mean to say if I type banner MOTD and this sign and if I press enter now whatever we're gonna put here it's gonna design our banner. Let's say we are gonna put here star or asterisk then we're gonna type here switch one floor one and if I press again a star so this is our banner so now to end up this design we have to put the same symbol again like this now this message means if you start designing your banner with a symbol you cannot use this same to your design this message is all about these things if you use any symbol for starting your banner design you can't use it in, into your banner you have to end it with the same symbol and press enter so now you can see the banner is designed or saved into a cisco switch now if i press ctrl z and exit and press enter you can see the banner is saved and also it will ask me the console password so if i put the console password here you can see i am into terminal so again go to execution mode we'll go to enable and for configuration mode we'll type here config term okay so now you can see here that whenever we type enable it will take us to the configuration mode so this is not secure so we have to set a password for enable also and for this we can type here enable password then you can type your password here i'm typing my name then press enter now if i again press ctrl z and exit here you can see the banner and the console password here i put my password and now if i type here enable you can see it asking me the password for the enable and here you need to type whatever password you set for the enable here i set my name so i'll type my name and press enter and now you can see we will get into the execution mode so again go to configuration mode type here config tar and press enter so again to see all the interface of your cisco switch here you need to type do show run or do sh run and you will see all the configuration and here you can see the banner is designed line console password is saved we did not set any password to virtual terminal so now let's set a password for telnet or a virtual terminal and for this you need to type here line vty let's say we are going to set here 0 to 4 4 line so we'll type here 0 to 4 then press enter then again to set a password simply type here password and the password whatever you want here i'm going to type my name then you need to type here login okay now our virtual terminal configuration or telnet configuration is ready to a switch now we can easily use a computer terminal with the telnet option to configure our cisco switch now let me show you how to configure it or get access via telnet into this switch and for this we need to set a IP address of the switch management VLAN. So if I type here do show run and press enter, here you will see there is a one VLAN which is VLAN 1. Interface VLAN 1 and there is no IP address. To configure the Cisco switch using the telnet or virtual terminal, you need to set up a IP address into VLAN. And for this you have to type in VLAN 1, then press enter. And here you need to type IP add then here give an ip address here i'm gonna type 192.168.0.100 i'm gonna give the cisco switch management ip 100 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 now if i press enter you can see the ip address is set and to make this interface up you need to type here no shutdown now by default this interface is shut down 
and to enable it or make it up, you need to type no shutdown. Then press enter. And you can see the interface 1, VLAN 1, change state to up. Now if I again type do show run and press enter, you can see in interface VLAN 1, the IP address is set. And if you want to see the brief information about all the interface, you need to type here do show IP in VR or brief. And here you can see all the interface of the Cisco switch. And here you can see the VLAN 1 is up and everything is down. Now let me show you how to get the telnet access into this switch. So if I minimize this console terminal and take a computer and connect it using the first ethernet cable. Now you need to configure your computer to get access to this switch. Configure means you have to put an IP address with the same network address whatever you put into this switch. So open your computer, go to desktop, then go to IP configuration. And here you need to put an IP address with the same network. So I will type here 192.168.0.2 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Now if I go to common prompt and let's try to ping the switch and for this we are going to type here ping 192.168.0 and the IP address of the switch management is 100. Now if I press enter the first request will be dropped for the ARP configuration and then we will get the replay. Here you can see we are getting the replay from the Cisco switch. So now let me show you how to telnet into this Cisco switch. And for this you need to type here telnet then you need to type the IP address of the Cisco switch which is 192.168.0.100. Now if I press enter you can see we get access into the Cisco switch. To get the command prompt or the terminal access, you need to put the password, whatever we set in our Cisco switch. In my case, this is my name. And if I type here enable, you can see it will ask me password again. And now using the telnet, we can easily configure our Cisco switch. So guys, this will be the basic configuration what you need to do whenever you try to configure a Cisco switch. Now let me show you how to make it more secure. Now if I go back to this terminal and if I type here do show run and press enter, you can see all the password are in clear text. So let me show you how to encrypt them. So let's exit from this config interface. Okay. Now type here config tar or config terminal and here you have to type service then you need to type the password encryption or you can type pass then press tab and it will auto complete now if i press enter and again if i type do show run and press enter you can see the password are encrypted now so like this you can configure all of your line to get access to a cisco switch and now you can easily add your pc to your cisco switch like this. Just add your PC and connect it using the LAN cable. Then you need to set an IP address on your computer. And like this you can easily configure a Cisco switch with your computers. Remember guys this is only the basic configuration. There is lot of things you can do with the Cisco switch. If you want to know all of this then please comment down to this video so that I can know you are really interested in networking or CCNA and I will make a video or full course on this networking part. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I am Mehdi Shakil. You are watching a tech tutorial and I am signing out.